So some huge news breaking yes, uh, yesterday. Now I already recorded this once, but I felt like it wasn't quite conveying my point properly. So now I am going to do it again. <laughs> and hopefully this is the one that actually makes it to a proper video. So now uh, yesterday the news came out that Lucasfilm Games has selected Ubisoft as a partner to make a new uh, story driven open world Star Wars adventure. And that looks pretty much up Ubisoft's alley. Now, the one thing I would want to add to this is that Ubisoft Massive is making this game. So maybe it could be something like Bounty Hunters or something. Maybe we, we are rebels who are, uh, you have blasters and all that stuff because shooting is really more their thing. Ubisoft Massive, by the way, are the same studio that made Division 1 and 2. Now, I personally kind of like Division 2. It's installed on my PC right now as I speak. And I sometimes I boot up, I play it for a little while when I really have nothing else to do when I'm bored. Uh, so it's a game that I know very well. It's a studio that I, I know their work very well. Now, one thing that kind of worries me is that they are using the Snowdrop engine, which is not a very good engine. To be fair, like both the Division games had very uh, severe issues with that. But anyway, the, the, those are going to be technical aspects. That is not really the point of this video. The point is that the reason why I'm saying that Star Wars games are now saved, it's not because that just Ubisoft is making it. It's because that EA is losing that exclusivity that they have. Now, they still have the exclusivity, exclusivity deal till 2023. So I believe your next question to me would be, then why is Ubisoft announcing a game now? And why are they saying that Massive is working on a game now? Well, if you consider the fact that they just announced the game, that they will probably start planning now and also the fact that they are recruiting people for this project, this project is not underway yet. And if you consider a AAA game, especially the kind of games that Ubisoft makes, usually it takes like three to four years. So I wouldn't expect a game, a Star Wars game, this project to come out from Ubisoft before 2023 or 2024. Uh, I, you know what, 2024, not even 2023, I, I would say don't expect this game before 2024. So then why is everyone excited? It's because that EA is finally losing the exclusivity. In the seven years that they had exclusive uh, license for Star Wars games, they have made four and a half games. Why do I say half games? Because they also made an expansion for Sims, which was just, I don't even need to say how ridiculous that is. But fine, they did that. But out of those four games, only one was an actually good game. And that was Star Wars Fallen Order, Jedi Fallen Order. Now, if you consider that, and consider the fact that their success rate is one game per seven years, it's not really a success story. And so it, <laughs> it's not a mystery why uh, Disney and Lucasfilm Games had decided the, to move out with the, to you know, not renew the exclusive contract. And I know some people are going to scream at me, oh, the Battlefront 2 is really good now. It's good now. It wasn't good when it launched. It was horrible when it launched. In fact, it still isn't even good now. It's, I, I know it's going to be given free at in Epic Store today, I think. But even with that, the single player mode, the story just sucks because it's a generic boring story. It was somehow more boring than the rise of Skywalker. I mean, that's all I'm going to say. Now, considering that and considering the fact that the multiplayer had a myriad of issues and somehow they skimped out on content even then, it's just not a good experience. And also, of course, they had that huge backlash with the loot boxes. Now, considering that now Ubisoft has these titles and I have already seen many people say, well, Ubisoft is not better. They are. Look, literally, like if I go to my channel right now, I have um, a video. Yeah, Ubisoft's outrageous greed. That was January the 3rd. Like literally about 11 days ago, I published a video actively criticizing Ubisoft for all the shit that they pull. You can go visit my channel right now. So trust me when I'm saying this, I am not biased. Yes, I said multiple times that I loved working there and I would probably want to join there at some point, but that doesn't mean I'm going to hold back on their stupidity. And they have done stupid shit time and time again. 
Now, considering all that, I am going to tell you to just ask yourself one thing. Have you seen a bad game from Ubisoft in the last four years? Other than Breakpoint. I know Breakpoint was bad. It was horrible. It was so horrible that I kind of had the opportunity to play it and I still didn't play it. It was that bad. So, considering that, if you look at Ubisoft's catalog in the last four years or so, they haven't put out any bad games. Yes, they have had flaws. They are not game of the year material in any sense of the way, in any sense of the word. But their games have their own heart. Yes, they are very similar to each other. And yes, we'll probably get a division reskinned as Star Wars because Ubisoft Massive is making this. But it's not that Ubisoft games are bad. Even if it's a Star Wars skin of a, div of a division game, Division 2 is still a good game. So <laughs> I don't see a problem there. Now, yes, the monetization practices that they do have suck. It's a common knowledge at this point. But what I'm saying is that the games themselves are generic, yes, but they are good games. So that is why I have trust that this game will be good. And now, even moving ahead of that point, the biggest thing that we have learned from this is that now every studio can make a Star Wars game. So like, just imagine after everything is wrapped up with Cyberpunk and all the DLCs are done after maybe 2023, Cyberpunk, uh, so CDPR decides, you know what? We want to make a Star Wars game. How cool would that be if they make a Star Wars game? Now, also, uh, what if uh, Bethesda decides they want to make a Star Wars game? Now, they are technically already making an Indiana Jones game because it's machine games that is owned by Bethesda that is now owned by Microsoft. But yes, Bethesda is making, and I think I even heard that Todd Howard is going to be the lead in that project, but I, I, I'm not sure about that. But moving away from all that, my point being that many such established and uh, really good studios are also going to have the opportunity to make Star Wars games now. So overall, it's a win-win situation. And even more than that, what I see in this is that, look, I am a decent enough Star Wars fan. I, I'm not someone who has read all the comics I have not someone uh, who has seen all the series yet. I am still kind of in between Clone Wars. So no spoilers, please. Um, and so I'm not saying I'm the biggest fan, but I do like the universe and I do like use of games. For me, it's a win-win situation. And even more than that, the fact that we'll have a diverse range of games that is not produced by just one company means that mostly those games are going to be good because these companies are going to be competing against each other for that license because if they have some absolute duds then probably they will not get the license to make a ne next game that's how things work so that is a good thing for this industry and also i'm also a massive fan of fifa because i'm a football fan and i play fifa i shouldn't say i'm a fan of fifa i'm not a fan of fifa that's the only game i get to play now I didn't buy FIFA 21. I literally just put a mod to FIFA 20 and it's basically just FIFA 21 anyway. But now that this massive franchise, Star Wars is a massive franchise. Now that this massive franchise has decided that EA is probably not a good partner to continue, continue an exclusive deal. I am hoping that, um, that organizations like FIFA, maybe even the, uh, what was it? The NHL. I don't know who has the NBA license and all that. I don't know that, guys, because I don't follow basketball, nor do I really uh, follow American football. But I know for FIFA, I am hoping that they are seeing this and they are questioning themselves. Because hopefully, hopefully, we'll finally get some good sports games out of this as well. So that is my takeaway from this as well. Now, uh, all that considered, uh, do let me know what you guys think. It's a good, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I mean, no one could possibly think that this is a bad thing, right? Like even if the Ubisoft game tanks, there are still other studios who are going to work on games like these. So no way is this a bad thing, at least in my books. But anyway, do let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoy my content, then consider pressing that like button. And also do subscribe to my channel. I recently got up to 89 and I am rapidly approaching 100. 
and also i make content on other games as well so like right now i am doing a series on a sanskrit valhalla and i'm hoping that when cdpr actually patches their game i'm hoping that i could do the same for cyberpunk 2077 so yeah if you want to see that then do subscribe to my channel uh, there is probably a video in the end card go watch what kind of content i do make and yeah i hope you enjoy so i leave you guys and peace